AP Station. My name is Christian Chandler. I'm in the Foxville, Virginia. Now, I present to you Cactus Body Slap. Mostly it's being a monkey, you know. Just play a drum solo for it. God bless me in advance for the task that I am about to undertake. So, I don't know. So, okay. Getting back to the, the question of what's the captain's log introduction. Hey guys, this is dead serious. We record. Boom. Let's go. Let's do it. Welcome to the podcast. I am Carlos Osorio. This is AJ, Jason, Dallas, and Lorenzo. Yo. And today we are talking about Pizza Tower, a game that has been recently been popular in this year. Mm -hmm. uh, with very interesting artwork and level designs. Mm -hmm. It's very fast tempo and it has a very good soundtrack, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's basically like, what, Wario Land? Yeah, Wario Land. Yeah. A game from the uh, Game Boy era. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna make it real with you. Can you guys explain to me because I've actually never heard of a pizza tower before. Uh, basically, pizza tower is about this uh, Italian uh, pizza owner. He um, basically this giant demon pizza. It aims a giant laser at his pizzeria, and so he has to fight against the pizza monster and disable the ray. Yeah. Yeah, any thoughts on this, Lorenzo? Or what? Pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, Twenty know. game. It has the oh sorry to interrupt, but it has the nineties car cartoons cartoon art style. So some something like Cuphead with this thirty style, but it's not really like Cuphead. It's more of like a Wario game, like basically beat the clock. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's very interesting. You know, mm -hmm. characters are you know well. It, it's comedic as well. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I wish yeah. to look. I wish to look more into the game and hope they could mm -hmm. make like a sequel or something. You know? Yeah, that'd be good. What but... platforms are it on? Are, is it on? It makes it on PC, but yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, PC. you okay. can just get it on Steam. You know. Mm -hmm. just... Yeah, you know what this uh, pizza tower talk has me craving? Mm. Some Little Caesars pizza, which is our sponsor for today. Little Caesars. Heck yeah. Get it hot and ready. You yeah. know, uh, I tried the pretzel crust bef uh, just today. And not going to lie, it tastes pretty damn good. I, yeah, I, say I recommend it. Yeah, I say it to myself. This pizza, it's helped me through a lot of tough times, and I appreciate it. Yeah, let me take a bite right now. Indeed. Mm. When, I'm in, when I'm at my lowest, I just want to eat a pizza. Exactly. Don't forget, don't forget all about it. It's a good pizza. It's for the price of eight, um, seven ninety nine. And when I get yourself some crazy bread with that. Mm-hmm. Well, if you have It's enough. our wings. <laughs> yeah. As well. Well, that's our sponsor for today. Now back to the podcast. So, you know, Pizza Tower, it's a game where you, it's like Wario, but, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but it's something like Toyaic, to, uh, Toyaic, I, I can't pronounce it, but it's like something yeah. like, like so 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just functions very well, you know? Yeah. I mean, the 80s, I mean, I get the style, because back in the 80s, people were crazy about pizza new york pizza chicago style pizza mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's good times yep good times good yeah times. yeah you know what's a good time to talk about yes the uh, situation that's been going on with uh sneak and most critical oh yes YouTubers. indeed what's going on with them um, What's what, what, what something new? I, just, I, I seen the memes and stuff, but I really know the context. Well, basically, the context is this. Moist Critical one, made a video about a YouTuber named Sneeko, who is a man who um, has, how should I say this, like a polyamorous relationship where he let his wife, you know, get with other men while he just sit and watch. And Moist Critical was talking about his lifestyle, saying, like, he's a, the internet's, um, slaying uh he's a cuck and such such like that i can see it last that one now mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of issues with them with sneeko even threatening moist critical online with moist critical obviously responding back sent like sending in like sneeko send was saying death threats to him right mm -hmm. uh, did you guys talk about like yesterday like last week ago yeah um anyways Sneeko has been like, you know, a very crazy chaotic man, 
and the YouTube plat more platform. You know? Yeah, you know someone who's been pretty crazy and chaotic for a little while. Yeah. Uh, Christian Weston Chandler, known best as Christian. Yes. Probably not true. Quick, I I know, I know. It's like, dude, don't get me wrong. It was crazy how. If and if anyone don't know who Chris Chan is, I mean, he's the most documented man in existence. I mean, it's because the things he have done in his life is crazy. Like, he pepper sprayed a GameStop employee all because the cover of the popular franchise Sonic, his arms were blue, or how on the internet he was yelling, screaming at trolls, falling for each bait. Like, bait after bait, he falls for it. Mm -hmm. And making a fool out of himself online. Mm -hmm. Causing him to be well-known. And so, yeah, other than that, recently he's been released from jail. And this has caused a lot of internet um, hysteria going on, you know. It's like, shoot, dude, you know. Yeah, it's crazy what the guy's been going on with. How do you get, how do you get arrested again? Um, Basically, he had issues with his uh, family. Yeah. And yeah, there were a lot of crazy issues, and a YouTuber had um exposed him of that, and yeah, that's what caused him to go to jail. He which he recently got bonded out of. Yeah, exactly. He, was, he also did break his uh, PS3 because trolls online they had told him, "Oh, we have your PlayStation account, and we're going to delete it or get it banned if you don't do this." Yeah. Dang. Hey, he fell for it really easily. I know. I mean, the man is, like, so chaotic. I mean... Mm-hmm. Uh, He's even gotten banned yeah. at his own mall. Yeah. Probably crying that we're going to ban my own mall. I know. An- another thing to mention on the internet that has been happening recently is... um, I think there was, like, going on about, like... Hmm, it... What didn't like um Nika? What's his name? Nika Auto Avocado. Nika Auto Avocado. Yeah. Oh yeah, that the man. Yeah, hasn't he been like um? I I've seen videos of him hanging out with these two guys. Are they skinny or? Yeah, yeah, they're they're skin- like he was on like. Um, yeah, he was on a podcast with this guy. He was interviewing him, asking him a lot of questions, and yeah. Yeah, exactly. Throughout the podcast, he was kind of making fun of him for his size. And, yeah, he was know. saying like he's he's like. So Again. F- He's a Genshin Impact player. Yeah, yeah. He has a body of a Discord player and stuff like like Discord moderator, and then he got so frustrated. He just. I was about to say walk, but no. Nah, the dude just. He um, drove a mobility scooter out. Of yeah, him. he drove in his mobility scooter away from the podcast, and then. He doesn't need one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro needs like he a needs crane. A, he needs a treadmill. That's what he needs. Yeah, yeah a that's treadmill. What that's. Or you know, one of those bicycle things at the gym. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Dude's just, like literally pushing to his death right now. Yeah, say, the funny thing, crazy thing is he's documenting all of it like right now. All I'm gonna say is man's only doing man's only doing it because his fans want him to keep living his lifestyle. Like if if he were if he were to make like a, a, a channel about him trying to lose weight, people are not gonna like it because you know, it's not what yeah. they what they want. Or they might like it, who knows? Because obviously he's like pushing himself to like lose more weight and you know, that's you know, it's something people want from him. Yeah. It's, it's not what people want actually. Supposedly due to like um here's actually some truth about Nika Kata Avocado oh, wow. if anyone doesn't know. He's not doing this because he wants to. It's obvious. Even Meat Canyon recognized it. People said his video, Meat Canyon, made of him, which was him seeing everything he touches tearing apart and him eating just glob and glob and glob, including himself. That's not him saying that, oh, you're doing this to yourself. It's him, basically, his character. He's creating an empire that he cannot control. Basically, it's not his fault he's like this. It's his fans. Yeah, his fans. His fans want him to die. They don't want, they don't want, if he was to make a video of him losing weight, everyone leaves, and he loses his followers. Yeah, pretty much. I know. It's uh, terrible how this state of age, they just rather see someone dying from what we're reading and stuff. Yeah, that's horrible. But, uh, yeah, enough about the blob. Let's, let's talk about another man. What's his name? Um, he was... N- Does, is it, wasn't it the man Terry A. Davis, right? Yeah, Terry A. Davis. Um... He was a schizophrenic programmer who created an operating system called Temple OS, which he claims that he this operating system can allow you to talk to God. Um, wow, that is yeah. controversy right wow. there. Yeah, it, it was because 
This okay back then he was like an atheist, but then suddenly uh, when he got schizophrenia, Terry began to think that God was communicating with him, and then as he did podcasts, um, not podcasts but like uh, live streams after he was going down Reddit like subreddits about programming and forums on computer programs and such like that. Um, he did live streams about like tutorials and um, his showcase on his operating system. Wow. Oh, he doesn't the guy hate the CIA for some reason? Yeah, he made videos about how he hates the CIA, the feds are catching him. There was even this one time where um, he drove all the way to New Mexico. Why? Because. Heisenberg or what? <laughs> I don't know, man. He just drove all the way to New Mexico and. He he was he was um he was getting I don't know just the man was doing unexpected things like he just walked like what twenty miles he so, what yeah he walked twenty mi- like he drove a car and then it broke down in New Mexico somewhere in New Mexico and then he walked twenty miles or, or was it seventy miles I don't know uh to a police station. And then he was threatening the police, and the police officer had to, like, you know, send him to jail and stuff. And then he got bailed. He, he got bonded by one of his family members. It was a crazy, crazy time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Terry is a crazy man. I know. Um, and then suddenly, later on, he began living in a van. He, uh... You see, um... He was a high priest. Who was, like, he said himself like he was a high priest? Yeah. Terry Davis? Mm-hmm. I don't know if he actually... He has to say that. Like, he was a high priest. Yeah. Um, um, he has a lot of crazy views about the other stuff he sees online or experiences, maybe. I know. I remember this one quote that he said. He's, he was saying something about, like, someone asked him on his live stream, what is reality? And he said, oh, what is reality? He was saying something like, Oh, when you, when you, like, when a bird looks at my monitor, does, and lives in a cage, does, does the bird panic? Does the bird, like, you know, thinks he is danger? No, he is simply just living in the cage. Um, and I was like, okay, that's kind of deep, you know? Yeah, I think so too, honestly. Yeah. Um, well, other than that, later on, Terry Davis began to, like, became homeless, and then... Wait, became homeless? How did he become homeless? Again, he... His parents kicked him out because he was saying stuff about his parents. You know, his parents couldn't deal with him, so he kicked the, he kicked Terry A. Davis out. He couldn't afford anywhere. He, um, there was few people on the internet who was outreaching him, you know, telling him and stuff. And so, later on, he, um, he was founded dead on somewhere in twenty seventeen. He died? Yeah, because of, like, starvation. And... It's horrible here. Yeah. Like... People still, to this day, think that he was the greatest, like... I don't know. He was an interesting guy. Even though he was believing in some nutso... You had a lot of interesting ideologies. Yeah, yeah, ideologies and controversies and such. It's... I mean, this man's... Yeah. I mean, he's um, obviously a mark in the internet community. I, I mean, think so myself. yeah, and indeed. I mean, he was it's very interesting myself. I mean, looking at these people, I mean, even though they believe in strange and odd uh, be- and, and, and behaviors and choices in life, it's still to the, I mean, in my opinion, it's very interesting if you can look into that, you know. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, also another person I believe that is interesting is uh, Marvin Heemeyer. Oh yes, the kill dozer guy. Am I right? I'm yeah, the guy who um built bulldozed the entire town because the uh, cement factory was actually planning on shutting down a successful muffler business. Indeed. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude, uh, he had the courage to just stand up to the government by building a bulldozer and making videotapes of himself explaining. Like, like he made. I mean, he's crazy. Yeah, he had a lot of like crazy thoughts about how God wanted him to do this or like. Someone, like, speaking to him was telling him, like, you know, you're on this earth for a reason. And this is why you should to fight back against 
the government of Granby, Colorado. Exactly. It was very. I mean, it's very. He, I mean, in my in my opinion, he kind of makes sense. You know. I mean. Yeah, he let out a great message in Colorado. If I believe so myself. Yeah, like I remember he, on news somewhere. Like, what year was it? Was it two thousand eight or two thousand four? Two thousand four. Yeah, he was like bulldozing. For like how long? For two hours or four two, hours? Two four hours. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, and then when he reached at the city hall, he bulldozed the entire thing. Exactly. He then, was planning on killing the mayor too, which is crazy. I know, I know, but um, he then got surrounded by the police, and then he shot himself. Which I mean, it took him two hours to get him out of the kill dozer, and yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> gotta say it's like. Jeez, it's crazy what the man has done. It's like, yeah, fight against, they fight against some corrupt government. It's like angry, like, you know, how much anger it pushes a man to, to like, like how much it pushed him off, like you know. Yeah, how it makes it just pushes his limits to to do such crazy atrocities and. History, you know. You know, after that, um, they built the cement factory. They actually asked him to like build pipelines to his business, which he couldn't afford. And when he asked for like assistance for such things, they find him because of it. I see. It's so, crazy what uh, this man has done. So after that, you know, after he died, like, what happened? Oh uh, well, it took around eight million dollars to rebuild everything. If I'm not wrong. Okay. Yeah. He did around $8 million in damage, and it took around, I think, 11 months to repair everything. And for the people, I mean, was there any followers of his Yeah, beliefs? a lot of people encouraged his beliefs, and they thought what he did was brave. And luckily enough, no one, uh, there's no casualties besides himself and the uh, kill dozing. I mean, yeah, I gotta say, I mean, I personally believe that this man did something so courageous and you know, just to stand up against the corrupt pe- government. Yeah, the corrupt government, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that's all we have for today, right? Yeah, that's all for today. If you'd like to hear more of our podcast, check out our YouTube channel. Yes. And stay tuned for more. Stay fresh. Yep. Peace.